for the big reveal. Looks nice. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I fall in love too easily. If you don't know me, my name is Rice Maiden, and I basically do a lot of fish stuff. So, uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button, I guess. So. But, um, in today's video, I got this five-gallon tank. Oh, no peeping. Five-gallon tank from Walmart for, because I do the ten-gallon tank just really got out of hand. So, this is kind of like a $50 Walmart challenge, $40, whatever I end up deciding. But, uh, yeah. Now we're gonna go to Petco, grab some gravel. It's basically the same price as Walmart. Walmart has gravel as well for the same price, so I'm not really cheating. It's just Petco looks a lot better, but you can still get the gravel at Walmart. But yeah, let's go back to Petco, and then I go to Walmart and get the tank, and then I get home, so keep watching. It has a nice natural look to it, so I'll just grab it. We just copped the gravel. Okay, so we just got a Petco, and now we're gonna go to Walmart and pick up a tank that fits our budget. And, um, yeah. See you there. We have a ton of starter kits to choose from. Um,. That should be good for all the babies. So we'll get the five gallon starter kit. Darcy Blues for $27.98. We already got gravel at Petco. A Petco is $5.99. It's close enough. I'll consider it Walmart, I guess. You can get gravel here too. So. Okay, now to decorate this tank, they have plants. What does it come with? It comes with filter, um, food, water, chlorinator, lights, and the tank. So we have to decorate. Um, only 444. Comes with three plants. Six inches and eight. Only four forty four. Let's grab. Seventy eight. Um I like sharp, so this guy's cute. It says feed me, I love it. We'll go with him. You, you know what? We'll give him a front seat. Front seat right there. So we already have gravel, we got the starter kit, has everything we need, plants and a little bit of decor. We got the tank. There she is. And the tank. Okay, we finally made it home with the tank and the plants. But first things first, everyone has got to know that when you get, it's going to be your gravel. You always, always, always have to rinse your gravel or your sand or whatever you're going to put into your fish tank. So basically, if you don't have a bucket or you just don't want to make a mess, an uh, easy way to rinse these off, since it's, this doesn't work for sand, but it does work for rocks and gravel, you just cut a couple little tiny slits or holes in the bottom, and you open the top, and you let water flow through. Like, you can hold it underneath your sink, underneath the hose, <sighs> whatever you gotta do. So, I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut a few slits under here. I'm gonna go to my bathroom sink, and we're gonna rinse this guy out, and drop him in the tank. Okay, so, grab a knife. You should cut a few little slits in the bottom. Not too big or else your rocks will slide out. So. Now it's time to just run the water through the top. Oh, I made too big of a hole, so we're already running into a few bumps. comes with the aquarium of course, the lights, the filter, it comes with some conditioner and some food, which is really cool, and a care guide. So, 
Let's just crack this guy right open. Okay, so once we open the whole thing up, to use the foam, here's the little tank. Wow, this thing's really tiny. And then there's nothing else in the box. Everything's just really inside of this, this tank here. Okay, so the first thing it comes with is the micro whisper filter. Let's open it up. All right, it comes with a cartridge already. And um, that's the inside of the filter. That's the sump to suck everything up. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And this is perfect because I know none of the babies are going to get sucked up into here. And in this bag of goodies, we have... Uh, there's our care guide and all these papers. I don't really need to read this, but if you're a beginner, you definitely should read that. But, uh, here are the... Here are the LEDs and the conditioner and the flakes. Oh, for a second I thought they forgot to give me my lid. Here's a cute little lid. Ready to go. Okay, the first thing, I would like rinse this off if you really have to, if it's dirty. And like wipe down the walls. Already, We're already good on that. Are you serious? There's a crack. There's a crack. There's literally a giant crack in it. If you guys don't know from watching my previous videos, this tank is full of baby molly, balloon mollies, and it's literally disgusting. The reason that I'm getting a new tank is because look at how messy this is. It's super hard to clean with sand, so I got gravel instead. And look at all the sand. It's just, this tank is a whole mess and I just really don't need it. And I would like to downgrade to something smaller because I'm going to be moving these guys into a way bigger home really soon. I'm going to go ahead and put this bag of gravel into the tank. how the landscaping's going it's pretty basic i should be getting driftwood pretty soon for this tank and that'll be an upcoming video so this is a perfect time to tell you guys to put down right now sorry my hair is a mess florida weather but go ahead right now and go hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on these upcoming videos me getting driftwood fishing ponds you name it it's coming up i guarantee it so go ahead and hit that subscribe button you will not regret it i am a growing channel we're gonna get there one day, but I need you guys to be the first people to help me out, so. All right, and just like that, tank's already filled up, and don't mind the ice cubes, they're just here to up the temperature because it was a little too warm, so I was like, yeah, why not just pop some ice cubes in there? So after they all melt, I'm gonna put some chlorinator in, but right now I'm gonna set up the tank hood with the LED light, and then I'm gonna put in the filter. Here's the tank light, the hood actually, and it's just like a cute little tank sits on top just like that and the lights actually come in a separate package comes with all the other goodies here it is I'll go ahead and pop this into the lid right now okay that was kind of hard but basically you put it in here and you just twist it into place there are instructions that come with it so you just have to follow that new angle here but what always 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 I really recommend keeping these cable ties when you get them so you could retie your cords into a drip knot or a drip loop. Nice. So cool. Go ahead. All right, here we go. In your dechlorinator, I got mine from 
Pet Supermarket, and it is a brand complete. Just gonna pour it right in. And that should be good. Here are the lights for the big reveal. Looks nice. And here we have the finished product. So happy with how it came out. Filter's a little loud, don't know why, ugh. But it's okay, it's still good. Maybe it's just my filter, but got three plants. Nice gravel, looks natural. I'm gonna get driftwood soon, so be sure to subscribe. And then I have the thermometers. <laughs> Alright guys, you see the tank behind me? All the baby fish are in. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, go ahead and check out my other videos. At the end of this video, they're going to be on the side, on the end card. And yeah, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to join the family and hit that subscribe button. But until next time, I'll see you in that next video. Peace. Stay wavy. Today's weather...